Hello, dear sweet sister goddess, and welcome to this week's Twin Flame Tuesday. And I, quite frankly, am undoubtedly eager to hear what messages we have for this Twin Flame Tuesday. Today marks the three year anniversary of my twin flame and I connecting in this lifetime. It happened through a friend request from him. And it's been challenging today. <sighs> Doing a lot of healing. Especially feeling as though I betrayed myself by accepting his friend request because I wasn't looking to be with anybody. Yet my intuition, oops, cool little growing love painting that I painted a few years ago. It was a little crooked fallen down. But I'm healing a lot of the space that undermines the beauty of this connection. Instead of feeling gratitude for him for this day three years ago, feeling a lot of regret for accepting that friend request. Because we're not, we're not talking right now. In fact, I actually blocked him this morning and um, I've been on the fence about uninstalling my WhatsApp altogether. And really, truly having that power over myself. To not send any more messages to someone who seems as though they don't care to receive them. Do you know what this is like, Goddess? I bet you do. It's kind of what we're all going through, aren't we? A Goddess asked me today when I revealed to her what today was. And she said, oh my God, three years? You've been doing this for three years? How have you been doing this for three years? And yep, I have. As you'll hear me say countless times, I wasn't looking for him. I even had a vision that was just me and a house full of foster kitties. <laughs> It did not go that way at all. Instead, I went to India to meet him. And with his own healing and mirroring my own inner rejection and, you know, the deeper, deeper healing that it seems only a twin flame can carve out inside you. That abandonment. Right. Them choosing the karmic over you, even though he really can't choose her because she's been long gone for a year now. But yeah. And I have to call it out 424. I know a goddess who who resonates with that number the same way I resonate with 717 or 920 or even 902 or some of the other ones that I have. So obviously we need that, whatever the message of 424. In fact, let's just go ahead and start there, shall we? Let's just start there. 424. 
and I'll, I'll actually have to laugh if it's not in here. Drat keeps stopping. No, it doesn't. That was the first time. It's being weird. It's being weird. Angel numbers. There it is, four, two, four. Patience and practicality. Tune into your drive, your passion, and your purpose. And quite honestly, that is exactly where I am. That was the reason why I felt that it, just to just to block him, just to really kind of cut off where it feels as though I'm hemorrhaging energy, right? Where I'm focusing on him instead of focusing on my purpose and my passion. Really feel into your options. Choose the path of least resistance. Listen to your inner voice of guidance. That's that 424. And, and right now, again, as I have mentioned on my posts and in this video, is you may experience times where you want to be upset with your intuition for leading you where it led you. Because when I accepted RV's friend request and received subsequently his first message a few hours later, I remember thinking, no, 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 I don't have anything to say to this guy. Nothing. Nope. I don't even know why I accepted his friend request. This doesn't make any sense. And so I ignored his message until October 3rd when the nudging became just, it was so distracting. I couldn't get anything else done and I had to scroll back down purposely to his message and reply to it. All because my intuition said so. And, and so your ego, again, it likes to, it likes to be at war. So it's going to talk such things as it was the ego or it was the intuition who steered us wrong. It was the intuition who caused us pain. It was the intuition who led us down this excruciating path. And while, yeah, it's true, we're the ones who make it more difficult than it has to be. We're the ones that resist and fight and throw tantrums and refuse to let go of the stories that we're telling ourselves that contradict what we desire, that go against the union. And in turn, that, that means to go against ourselves. That's why Super Sign Sunday was about coming out of the dark and starting to be your own best friend, shining your light, being your own best friend. And I'm here to tell you, sister, I'm not giving up. Although my ego wants to tell me that I am, I, I know better. I just, I just know that I need to focus on me. And I'm not gonna deny that it actually felt pretty good. Because then I can't send any messages to him that I would regret. Right? Things that we like to say sometimes that really are contradictory to the outcome that we desire. You know, here we are almost 10 minutes in and I haven't even introduced myself. Welcome, my name is Rochelle and here at Empowerment Experiences, that's what we're doing. We're, we're turning things, we're turning moments, experiences into our lives that feel disempowering and heavy and suffocating. We're, we're looking for and we're finding our power in them so we can break free of them, so we can shift so we can stop feeling so suffocated. 
because it's only we ourselves who are suffocating ourselves. I didn't look for this twin flame journey, it found me. I didn't look for my twin flame, he found me. But I suppose the same can be said about becoming a self-love empowerment coach. It found me and I love it so much. And I really, I really would never want to go back and not meet him. I wouldn't want to not go to India to be with him, just for him. He was worth it. He's been worth it all. And so have I. And that's the thing, Goddess, is you've got to look at your journey and look at what it has taught you, how it has helped you to grow stronger, and were you not worth all of that? For me, the gift of going to India, going to a place that feels like home for my soul, even though I never realized I'd wanted to go until I met him. Of course, I hadn't really wanted to go a lot of places until I met him. I even still have a deposit with a hostess in Bangkok. <laughs> I'm grateful she's so wonderful. We've been in contact throughout all of this entire scam that's been going on this past year and a half. So very grateful for that. Yeah. So for this Twin Flame Tuesday, it's, it's, it's again, for those of us who are finding it challenging with this surrender phase of, of letting go and really truly authentically authentically and that means to not be hiding to not be having unclear intentions or alternative intentions that really, truly, the letting go of him is so that you could really, truly focus on you and heal you and love you. Not because you think that by letting go of him that that's what's gonna bring him back. That you're letting go of him for him. No, you're letting go of him for you. So have compassion for yourself. Start to look at, at the things that you're doing and how they're benefiting you. And I mean truly, Goddess, at the deeper level. In what ways are they supporting you in the cultivation of love and acceptance and compassion for yourself? To truly be genuine, gentle with yourself, to be genuine with yourself, to be authentic, and to stop hiding your magic from yourself. I've been doing it. I've been dimming my own light and hiding the magic of me as things that we've got to let go of are being amplified, things that we thought perhaps we had healed, but instead they are louder than ever. The chokehold is stronger than it's ever been. But the thing of it is, the one that has the grip is ourselves. We are the one that puts our own dreams in a chokehold. We are the ones that put our own magic on the shelf, in a box, to lock and throw away the key and shove that box under the bed and never look at it again. It took a soul sister today to call me and say, hey, it's been a while since we've actually had a conversation. It's one thing to go back and forth in voice clips, but to have an actual conversation, it's, it's, it's a different energy. The next thing I know, 
she's got me talked into starting to make plans to go back to India. Not to see my counterpart though, but to go for my soul, for my reasons, to rediscover deeper parts of me that can only be found in other parts of the world. And before I met my counterpart, I didn't truly realize the global vision of empowerment experiences. I couldn't realize it. I couldn't feel what it was to travel the world because I had never before traveled the world. I didn't know what that felt like. But my love, he gave me that gift. He showed me a deeper pocket of magic within me than I had realized up until that point. And then we're all tested, right? This last year and a half, we've all been being tested to such an extent that for some of us, we fell back into the old way. The space of hopelessness, of, of where dreams can't come true, because I, I used to believe that. Before empowerment experiences, which was only a year old, when I met my counterpart, it wasn't even a full year old yet. but it's been a little too easy to fall back into the limitations of the matrix that I'm not allowed. It separated me from my magic. And only I did that by believing the things that I was thinking, by believing the things that contradict the truth that I can be, do, and have anything. And that the only one who is standing in my way is me. Goddess, the only one who stands in the way of what you desire is you. It's you. So, it's time to find that balance within yourself. Right now, as your counterpart does whatever it is he's doing, you leaning towards him and, and grasping at him and even the sending messages and he's not replying, that's your energy that you're giving to him and he's not reciprocating. So it creates an imbalance in the connection. Which means there's an imbalance within yourself. And so right now, through this compassion, through reconnecting with the magic that is you, you can bring yourself back into balance. And, in, and that is going to empower you to begin to dream again. No matter what the world looks like right now, when you can come home to yourself, feel the magic within you that you are, that is the very thing that is not just going to allow you to get by, but it's going to catapult you into thriving. So have compassion for yourself and bring things into balance within you. If you feel depressed and you feel discouraged, it's because you're focusing on things where you don't have power and therefore you are giving your power away. You are not letting yourself see the magic 
that is in you as the magic that you are. Like I've said, I, I've been growing stronger in, in that lesson as well. Because that's what I feel it is. It's their, their challenges, their opportunities for growth, for us to grow stronger in that which is the magic of ourselves, the magic of creation that we have at our fingertips to create whatever reality, whatever world we desire to be experiencing, but we've got to get out of our own ways by letting go of the bullshit beliefs that go against what we desire. And there's definitely a lot of anger. There's a lot of anger just in the collective period, but this is going to amplify yours. And Goddess, I want you to know that it is okay. It is okay to be so enraged that you scream obscenities at the universe or at your ancestors or at whomever. Just don't do it in the physical, especially at your counterpart, because I know, Goddess, I know right now you have a lot of anger for him too, which in truth, that means you have a lot of anger towards yourself. Anger for choices that you've made, things that you've said, directions that you took. And this is why the need for this compassion, the need to recognize the balance that is needed. Balance for me also implies that grounding, that need to be grounding yourself. To hold space for yourself, the compassion, being gentle with yourself as you release this anger in healthy ways. And like I've said, certainly, certainly not at your counterpart. Like I said, that's why I blocked him. I didn't block him necessarily because of what he wasn't doing. I blocked him because of what I was about to do. And of course, my mind likes to say he won't notice anyway. But it's like, does it matter? Not right now. To my ego it does, but... I know that this is my responsibility. This is my responsibility. And dear sweet goddess, when you take responsibility for your role in your experience, that then gives you, it empowers you with the ability to respond. And now the response is that I'm not gonna say anything to him. I'm gonna use that energy to cultivate deeper and deeper love for myself. Right now, I am allowing myself to start to dream again of traveling the world. Bangkok, oh, back to India for sure. I'd love to go to the Maldives, Bali, to really start visualizing and manifesting intentionally just like before all the chaos of the world happened. Because it sure is pretty fucking fun to be intentionally manifesting, just saying. I mean, I have all these countless tools and resources and practices and techniques, um, especially in my Manifesting with Self-Love Power program, which is my full 
huge program. And I say huge, it's still small compared to my where Empowerment Experiences began and is going to be revived uh, and back. Um, but uh, this is the kind of like the whole explosion of that which is my power starter. My power starter in, is inclusive of everything that I utilized and implemented to get to India to my twin flame. To do this in less than 90 days from concept to completion. This is why planning a trip now to India in January, that would be my goal, my desire, doesn't seem so far-fetched at all. Not at all. It actually, I feel a little excited, even though he's not the reason for this trip this time. I am. And that, that does make it pretty exciting. <laughs> and that is the power of imagination. It's when you can allow yourself to dream. Because that's what I even told my soul sister, I'm done, I'm done dreaming. We don't live in that world anymore. And all of that, all of that has been my own ego keeping me small. Remember when these messages come through me, they're not just for you, they're for me too. Right? And right now we are being asked to envision this new reality. We are being asked to reveal to ourselves the magic that we possess, the power that we truly have within us to create whatever it is we envision. Give yourself permission to dream. That is to have compassion for yourself, to allow yourself to envision what you would desire to be experiencing without sabotaging it with anger or frustration or asking how, how is it gonna happen? How isn't, how isn't your responsibility? How isn't your job? It's not where your power is. Because dear goddess, whatever, whatever the divine masculine is doing, He's doing what he's supposed to be doing. Whatever it is, whatever soul contracts we all agreed to, you have to know that it's unfolding exactly as it's supposed to. So stop overthinking, all right? Stop, again, stop being your own worst enemy. Even right now, as my soul sister was like, okay, we need to get you dreamy again. So you gotta go back to your motherland. You gotta go back to India. You wanna go back, right? And I'm like, of course I do. Good thing I didn't ritualistically burn my passport or my visa, <laughs> as my ego wanted to. That's that anger, right? I destroy things that I might want later. You know, all my own stuff, it's my own stuff, but I'm like, well, I no longer have a need for this and I'm just gonna throw it away or burn it or, and then six months, a year, or I donate it or something, right? Six months, a year, two years later, I'm like, okay, yep, now I want that. Now I need that. Now I wish I had that, but it's long gone. Okay. But yeah, it's that space of talking ourselves out because we don't know how it's gonna work. We don't know when it's gonna happen.
Yeah. It is divinely orchestrated. And this means, dear goddess, your power is over here in envisioning the reality. And then we allow for those in the energetic realm to support us, to assist us in this reality, in, in this vision becoming real, actually becoming reality. We can't do it ourselves, even though our ego may like to tell us that we, we have to, or it's the only way. But we're not alone. We are not alone. I'm like, is this recording? Oh yes, okay. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. So, as you are feeling this this weight slowly beginning to lift. And your responsibility is to be raising that vibration through that. So dance, right? Shift that energy within you. Rather than just sitting there and feeling angry or feeling discouraged or feeling powerless, dance in fact this friday night we have a goddess party which i am doing those twice a month for sure uh it does have a cover charge you could say um to we are um regular donations go to our rescue which is the modern day underground railroad for helping combat child sex trafficking which really is the virus in this world it's the it's the true the true pandemic. <sighs> so come join us. There we go. I was like, where was I? I got a little sidetracked. It's, it's a, little, a little heavy there. Um, but yeah, come dance with us. Come have fun with us. Raise your vibration at this goddess party. That is our intention there. And I may do a, a little giveaway drawing, of course, like I like to do. Um, the first one everybody got something the first party uh, because it was the first party and uh, we actually did a little something special because it was also my twin flames birthday and he i sent him the video of everybody because of the 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 delay in the video though it wasn't so great but of everybody singing happy birthday to him and he was he was really surprised and he was really appreciative of it it was amazing so we do have fun at these parties wow here we have compassion we have grace <sighs> giving yourself grace goddess if you feel as though you have wasted time or you've made bad choices or you're not where you feel you should be you're angry again at some of the decisions that you've made some of the things that you've said give yourself grace that is what it is to have compassion for yourself to recognize that in each and every given moment wherever you are mentally emotionally spiritually physically you are making the best decision that you can for that moment and to beat yourself up to be angry with yourself it diminishes your magic Okay, so it is time, yeah, you know, let's, um, being Twin Flame Tuesday, let us ask, do we have any messages from the Divine and Masculine? Is there anything you would like to share with us Divine Feminines for this Twin Flame Tuesday? Any? Okay, and here we go again, two cards 
wow. That he is finding his freedom. He is anchoring into his freedom. He is looking for searching and finding his power to set himself free from all the things that keep him bound and limited and away from you. You see, dear goddess, he's been in his own prison too. It just looks different from yours, from where you're looking. But he is doing that. And that means you've got to also. And whatever that looks like for you, whatever is best for you, you cannot be separated. So even, again, even as we may block them or just be like, I, I can't deal with, with your energy right now or with where you are or what you're bringing me, I, I don't have it. You have to be willing to have the boundaries with him because those are actually boundaries with yourself. And if you disrespect those boundaries, you disrespect yourself and you allow him to disrespect you too. And right now what I'm seeing in the collective is we are collectively working to free ourselves from these things that have haunted us and caused us to give our power away. And so bit by bit, because this is the path to freedom, is reclaiming your power. To recognize you are a sovereign being and he, he is in this process for himself. Remember, him keeping his distance from you really truly has very little to do with you and everything to do with him and what he's going through. So, I, I am okay. And I'm hearing that he has a He's giving you a rose. We have a rose from the Divine Masculine. To remind you of the beauty in this journey, of the beauty within yourself. To love yourself, all of you. That every part of you has a purpose, is important, is for a reason. That everything that is happening right now is happening for you, for him too. For the connection. that all the thorns that we are climbing to find the freedom that we have been searching for this entire life and lives past, it will be worth it. The beauty that is waiting at the top, the delicate petals, the sweet, incredible fragrance. A bed of roses. A bed of roses awaits us all. And he sees this. You are his divine feminine goddess. And though his ego may take him in other places, to other faces. You're the one that is in his soul.
You are his safe place. You are his home. You are the reason that he is reclaiming his power, that he is reclaiming his freedom. He's just not quite in this space enough to speak it in the 3D. Wow. Angel numbers we have. So we have had four to four at the start of this. <laughs> Five, six, seven. And I am feeling, yes. And 33. So let us see, five, six, seven, and 33. Huh, five, six, seven is love, marriage, family, and home. Responsibility, how perfect is that? Responsibility and practicality. Be intentional showing love and gratitude every day. Oh, Wow. Fighting the connection has a negative effect on you and your overall well-being. Right? This is what it is to have compassion for yourself and recognize the magic to create any reality that you desire to be experiencing. That is the reason for this imagination and magic card to be showing themselves right now is because our egos are telling us that if I work on focusing on me more and more then I'm gonna forget him and he's gonna think that I forgot him and then he's never gonna come back and oh my goodness and you end up right back in that spiral again right right or you come to the place where you're just like I quit forget him I want I want out of this I just I never want to think about him again and instead of doing it from a place of that intention, right, of being clear on what your intention is, I'm doing this for me, to heal me, to, to create my vision that we can unify together at some point, it doesn't matter when. But instead, you're saying, I push, I reject, what you resist persists. So that pain and suffering that you feel because he's not with you, if you're pushing him away, you're trying to deny it, you're just gonna amplify that pain and suffering always growing. Welcome each challenge as an opportunity for growth. Always keep focus on the goal and the desired outcome. That is the reason for this reality. If you don't have a dream or a vision or a goal, then you are as a ship being tossed around on rough seas aimlessly, aimlessly adrift. When there's so many islands of amazing out there just waiting for you to discover them. But if you don't have a desire to discover them, then discover them Well, you will not. And your counterpart, he's working on his, you've got to work on yours. What is your vision? Because God is, you don't know you don't know that he's not doing everything he's doing right now, working his butt off to create this vision to be with you because he believes that he has to have things a certain way in order to be with you. And unless they're in that certain way, then he can't be with you according to his ego, right? Then instead, he's not free. He's not in his power. He is instead in the thorns, 
flailing around. Mm, 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 mm. All right, in 33 we have all things are possible in the realm of possibility. Ascended Masters, ask to receive support and guidance. Live your life, number 33. You are blessed, loved, and supported in all you do. Gives courage to live your life with enthusiasm and optimism, which how can you have optimism if you don't have a vision, if you don't have a dream? And then 33, twin flame connection strengthened, purest, truest, and most unconditional love. But that means also the connection with and within yourself. I assure you, Goddess, raising your vibration is the only way to even put yourself in the ballpark of harmonious physical union. But it has to be authentic. It has to come from that genuine, pure intentional place. That you're doing it for you. For you to be in your power. For you to experience the freedom in this world to be, do, and have anything you want. It's up to you. So as, as he is doing his thing, you focus on your thing. And remind yourself, that everything you're going through, you are growing through, that it is happening for you, no matter how much your ego screams that it's happening to you, and you've been betrayed and abandoned and led so wrong by your intuition. That's just the wounded ego trying to manipulate you and keep control over you, keep you away from what it is you desire. Don't listen to her. She's lying to you. It's time for you to live your life. It's time for you to break free and reclaim your power and harness the magic within you to create the reality that you desire. To have compassion for yourself when the anger arises that things are not working fast enough or you can't have that or you don't deserve that. When you catch yourself in that space and you say, wait, 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 that's completely contradictory to what it is I desire. So I'm, instead of beating myself up, I'm going to look at why I'm feeling this way, why I'm thinking this. And then I'm going to soothe that wound and I'm going to allow for it to be healed. That said, dear sweet goddess, thank you so much for joining me in this week's Twin Flame Tuesday. It's um pretty awesome. to be on a never ending going and growing journey where magic and miracles can happen and cause your life to change in a single moment. I say that again, I know magic and miracles can happen and cause my life to shift and change in a single moment because it's so true. The key is, you've got to let it through. You've got to get out of your own way. 
that's the reason to dance. So join us at either this Friday's Goddess Party or check out the schedule uh, for next month's parties or, or for the next parties to be coming. That said, dear sweet goddess, know that you are supported, you are loved, I am here for you. When you are feeling as though you just can't quite get your bearings or find your power, that's what I do. I'm here to guide you. It's what I love to do. So you can definitely book a one-on-one -on -one session with me at iamempowered.as.me. I will put that link down below. And as always, I am here to remind you, dear sweet goddess, that everything you desire is in your hands to create. That power, it is in your hands. The magic, it is in your hands because it has always been inside you. Namaste.